Hello, welcome back. Today we're continuing to watch our two friends from last week. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend to watch it. It's a really cool and funny hand between uh, these two players. And today we're going to watch the next hand. I was under the gun here and um, I just have queen deuce offsuit, so I just fold it and I got ready to watch this hand. So basically almost everyone limps, including uh, the passive recreational player on the button and the big blind um, who will be our other protagonist here six seven nine very wet flop it just checks through there's still hardly anything in the pot the jack comes on the turn still quite innocuous nothing happening everyone just checks checks through in this pot and then we have the gin card so now we have a four flush there and the loose player in the big blind just bets out fairly small about third pot uh, most players fold except for our friend in the button seat he will raise this one up to 30 Ooh, a passive recreational player raising it up wonder what he has small blind gets out of the way the loose old man tanks for about a minute or so and he bumps it up to 85. The passive recreational player doesn't think much. He just goes and bumps it up again to 240. The loose old man tries to think what he could have and he goes all in. To which the passive recreational player is not super happy, but he flicks in the call quite quickly, only to get shown the bad news, because of course the loose old man has the nuts, the queen ten here, whereas our friend on the button has ten nine offsuit. Now, this hand is really a great example of how to go broke in a limped pot. There was hardly any money here in the pot. There were 18 pounds in the pot until the river. And then this pot got to over 1300 pounds by betting, two betting, three betting, four betting, five betting. It was just incredible and quite a funny hand. I really enjoyed watching it. The button probably did not enjoy it. And next time you are in such a situation where you have a really good hand, maybe you can raise. You probably should raise there, but you definitely shouldn't uh, uh, four, th four bet then after you get three bet here. Uh, so yeah, another great example of why live poker is still insanely profitable if you just avoid these big mistakes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and see you again soon. Bye!